So this is a well pump motor. Now you may be wondering, it's missing the top portion of the pump. That is actually the pump in, and this is actually the motor in, and this is actually uh, your drive shaft that connects to the top of your pump. And then multiple impellers, you can kind of see where the impellers used to sit inside of the pump stack, and that's what this does. So this spins the entire pump stack with multiple impellers in it, and that's what actually sucks water in down here and sends it up up top. But what this video is about today is what's inside of one of these and can it be rebuilt? So let's go ahead and cut it open. So we have this weep hole here on the bottom and we have three large screws. We're gonna go ahead and take these out and see if the butt cap will come off. So here we have some little piece of rubber and it looks like that keeps the water out of it maybe. We have another piece of metal here and this is your bottom bearing, your bottom bushing that the armature rides in. So typically when a pump motor starts to fail it's this bearing down here or the bearing up top that actually fails that makes the motor not run true anymore. So now we flip the uh, pump motor over in the vise and we see our studs, our main shaft and our wiring. We're gonna go ahead and put a socket over this and take each one of these out and see what this side looks like. Need to take this off next. Just slide this down the wire, grab the head. May require a little assistance. She opened right on up. We'll go ahead and slide this right on out. So there, you can see those grooves cut in it. I'm not sure this feels, I want to say it feels like a magnet. This is stuck to it. That may be a uh, like a plastic washer or something for it to ride on. Go ahead and pull out the center armature, and that's it right there. Pretty cool, I haven't taken one of these apart in about 10 years. Now for anybody wondering, uh, are well pumps rebuildable? The short answer is no. It's not worth your time to sit there and disassemble one and try to rebuild it and sit there and spec it all out to see exactly what's bad on the unit. I'm just taking this apart for the viewers to where they can see what is exactly inside of a well pump. So that is the inside tell it's storming outside doesn't look like it from here but that was thunder so that's the inside of it pretty cool so I'm gonna say if we see this right here I'm gonna say that would be the failure point see that that doesn't look normal so I'm gonna say that that could be the uh, the issue as to why this one died. So I just took my screwdriver here and I took it to the inflated piece right here and I actually pierced it and when I did there was slight pressure behind it. It went poo. So that means there was pressure behind that sheathing. 
So I'm gonna say that was probably the detrimental point. You can see the uh, the hole that I, I punched in it right there. That's kind of cool. I don't know too much about electric motors. I'm not Elon Musk, so I'm just the guy who pulls these out and replaces them. But that's pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's disassemble a pump stack and I'll show you what's inside of the top of the pump. Now this is the pump end. The motor bolts to this section here, goes right in. The drive shaft coupler connects in there. And then your fitting and your pipe goes here. Now typically there's a, a few different brands on the way that they do these. Some actually crimp these on and then some are threaded on. So you read here it says to disassemble this direction. So the threads that are cut right here are reverse style threads. So let's go ahead and lock this in the vise and take this off. Now this thing is definitely in there with some major force. That's the only way I can get it to move is if I kick it. Once we get it off some Ah. Now it may be, I may actually be tightening it. It may, it may have meant to turn this that direction. But we'll keep turning and we'll figure it out. see here this is your check valve okay so this is why this pump would have died if you see here this is the rubber seal that is built into the check valve so the rubber o-ring for the check valve had failed and the pump was pumping water up and then it was all leaking right back down through here and typically when you have a leaky check valve you can tell that by the pressure gauge on your tank your tank constantly it's pumping water up and then clicking off and draining back down and it seems like you have a leak but it's just a check valve so that's why this one died all right so we got the head off take a peek inside i believe this is going to be the top of your pump stack okay take that out go ahead and try to grab the next one so if we look inside the pump, you can see that we have a C-clip there, or whatever you want to call that style clip, but then you have your impeller, and you can see the way that the veins are made on the impeller and where the water goes through, scoops the water and then pushes it on out. So let's go ahead and take this out. That's in there. Got him. Typical C clip, they go flying. Oh man. Fighting this thing out is a pain in the butt. All right, here we go. So this is just one of multiple impellers inside of here. And, and the impellers is the same uh, terminology as what they call stages in a pump. So you can get six stages or eight or 10 or 12 or 25. All depends on what size pump you have. But this is your impeller. Let's see if we can get this to come apart. So here was the assembly disassembled. This is the impeller. It sucks water in from the inside and flings it to the outside. And this is the outer portion of that. This goes in there, and this goes over top of it. So all of this is pre-assembled. So if you think you're gonna rebuild one, think again. They're good for about 10 to 15 years, depending on how much usage, but you can tell here that you're starting to get a little bit of wear right there in the center. Cool, let's go ahead and knock the rest out. I'm gonna take the pump here, slam it, and go like this. Yay! So we already took one out. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and we'll call that 10. So this will be a 10 stage pump. And then this right here is your main drive shaft that connects them all. Now, if you sat here and looked at these extremely closely and disassembled all of them, you would notice that they're slightly different. They're not all the same. And some are gonna be good for sucking in high volumes and then the higher that you get those are going to be fed the volume from the one below it and they'll steadily build more pressure on the top side of it pretty cool but yeah that's what's inside of a pump and the rest is just a stainless steel housing good for the scrapyard So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It took me a little while longer than I wanted to to make this. I've been thinking about doing it for quite a while. But um, yeah, there's everything that belongs inside of your well pump. And all this works in unison for a long, 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 long time. Well, thank y'all for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. If you did and you're not subscribed, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any more questions or inquiries, video ideas, whatever you want, just go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Uh, comments are always live, so I'm here to answer anybody's questions and help anybody out.